So let's discuss what is a positive versus a negative RNA virus in a very simple, easy to understand way with even a um, analogy or a story to help you remember the differences. So let's begin. Positive or negative RNA viruses? Well, viruses themselves can be as simple as DNA or RNA surrounded by a protein coat. Literally, viruses do not have to be anything more complicated, though they often are. But before we go on to positive and negative types of RNA virus, here's some simple concept you can understand. Here's an equation. So a DNA or RNA plus any kind of structural protein that would form a nucleocapsid or a naked capsid. Okay, so just DNA with a little bit of protein and that is enough to be called officially a virus. Or, you know, the DNA or RNA would represent the genome of that virus and the structural protein would be the protein coat. So again, that's a nucleocapsid. So before we go on to exactly how viruses would go into the cell through those processes of attachment and binding and go to the nucleus or the cytoplasm, what is replication itself? Well, the central dogma is where we come back to. So the very basics of replication and gene expression, it starts with DNA and it's converted to mRNA. After that, it's converted to protein. Now, the process of DNA being turned into mRNA is known as transcription. And the process of mRNA being turned into protein is known as translation. So these are hopefully things that you already know, but just to refresh, the Tran mRNA is the thing that is going to be translated into protein. So what is translation? Well, translation is the process by which a cell will interpret the codons along the mRNA molecule to build the polypeptide and to build the protein. So as you can see, your ribosome reads. Your ribosome is the protein unit that's actually reading the mRNA, R for R. And that means mRNA is necessary for the process of translation, okay? It's just like something being written down and then translated, like transcription, then translation. And this process is very necessary. So let's go on to the question of the day. What is the difference between a positive or negative RNA virus? Well, for all intents and purposes, just remember that positive sense RNA is equivalent to mRNA. Remember, what did we need mRNA for? For the ribosome to read it and for the process of translation. So negative sense strand would actually be a strand that is complementary to mRNA and therefore it cannot be used as mRNA directly, meaning that negative sense strands have a bit of a longer way to go before they can even become translated. And actually, your positive sense, SSRNA, your single-stranded RNA viruses, have their genome directly utilized as if they were mRNA. Now, here's a diagram to explain that further. Positive RNA, positive sense RNA can immediately be translated to make the structural proteins and enzymes that are, in fact, necessary for their replication. So that's a key, key concept there. It's not like they are translated and suddenly that translation brings about more and more of these viruses, that the proteins that they're producing themselves are the viruses. No. Firstly, they produce the enzymes that are necessary for that virus to start replicating. First, they produce the enzymes, those proteins they produce first. Negative RNA. Here, First, negative RNA needs to be converted to positive RNA, which, remember, was our equivalent to mRNA. And then it can be easily translated into structural proteins and enzymes, okay? Something else to point out here, negative RNA needs something called virus, uh, called RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Now, I'm, I'm promising you this will become very simple in the following story. So before we go on to that, RNA... The genome itself can be divided into like double stranded or single stranded. Okay, um, then single stranded can be positive sense single stranded or negative sense single stranded. 
Okay, we understand that. Now, positive sense viral RNA is identical to mRNA and thus can be immediately translated into protein by the host cell. Negative sense single-stranded RNA is negative sense. This negative sense RNA is complementary to mRNA and must first be converted to positive sense RNA by RNA polymerase before translation can occur. So what we're finding is that for negative sense, first it needs to be converted to positive sense and then it can be translated. However, that conversion is dependent on something called RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. They all, here, here's this quote. They, have, they all have in common the property of using their own genome as messenger RNA, from which they synthesize one or several polyproteins that are subsequently cleaved into individual proteins by viral or cellular proteases. These viruses possess the genetic information for the synthesis of RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. So think of it like this. You want some dinner for a night in and you have two options. You could get a takeaway, which would be a ready made meal, ready to eat and enjoy. Or you could use those healthy food subscription boxes, which come with the ingredients and the recipe. So think of your positive sense RNA strand as the ready made meal, which is ready to be used, ready to be translated. It doesn't actually um, carry with it kind of the RNA dependent polymerase. However, think of your negative strand, sense strand, as the ingredients and the recipe. This is your healthy food subscription meal, right? They give you the ingredients and the recipe, and you're supposed to put it together. So here, ingredients and the recipe would be that this negative sense strand comes with the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. And it makes it easier to remember because recipe starts with R, and RNA-dependent RNA polymerase starts with R. Okay, key takeaway from this video, um, genomes can be single-stranded or double-stranded, positive or negative sense, and then the type of genome will, be, will determine if the first step after uncoating will be translation, transcription, or RNA replication. RNA viruses need RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, remember the recipe with the ingredients, which will then synthesize the viral genomes into the host cell, and here, of course, you can see that positive sense strands only require one step to produce the polypeptides, to produce the proteins, which is your translation. However, here, your negative sense strand must first be converted to positive sense strand and then. OK, I uh, hope you enjoyed and you learned something here and I simplified the concept enough. Like, comment and subscribe, please. And that's it. Thank you.